All right, so Purple Disco Machine in Hello. the studio. Yes, so uh, th your name is very intriguing, so I just got to ask you, like, what inspired your name? <laughs> um, that's a good question. So there's no proper story behind. I just, um, so I, I was looking for a name who describes the sound mm -hmm. I do, yeah. and I'm a big fan of a Miami Sound Machine. Yeah. Mm. Estefan. And yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking for a name like this, and mm -hmm. so a name is Stux. And um, I'm also a fan of Purple Rain from Prince. Ah, and yeah. So okay. a mix of all these and disco, the sound. Yeah, I yeah. Grew up with, I love, and so yeah. that's how it happened. And all together, yeah. you are a machine. And <laughs> at the end, I'm a machine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, your disco tracks, everyone knows them, and I think your name has definitely stuck. Um, question: You do a lot of remixes. Who do you think like your favorite remix is? Like. Um, right now, I would say my remix for Shakedown at night. Okay. So this is, I think, one of the best remixes I've ever did. So it's also my one of my favorite, uh, one of my personal favorites. So, but um, I, I ask me in two years, and <laughs> I would say another one. Okay, fair enough. And favorite collaboration? I mean, you work with a lot of artists as well. Other artists? Yeah, I, I really like to do something with uh, Jamio Kwai. I met him and I played, uh, I toured with him last year. Cool. And he's such a nice guy. So that Amazing. was one of the best experiences in my life so yeah. far. It is. Very cool. Getting to work with that guy, Jamio yeah. Kwai. He's, he's, I mean, he's, he's a superstar. He is. He behaves like a superstar. <laughs> I, I mean, he's not a diva, so, uh, but um, he's a superstar. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, a little personal question, like, <laughs> On your first big paycheck, what did you spend it on? <laughs> on my first big what? Paycheck. Paycheck? Big okay. cash out, yes. money. Your, your salary. first ah, okay, okay. big gig um, you got that paid out. I, I mean, I, I don't earn any money yet. So <laughs> I'm, I'm here for free just to be here on the festival to play. Yeah, I mean, well, I think... Uh, no, <laughs> I think I bought my wife something. You bought your wife? No, I, I, I <laughs> you bought your wife. No. <laughs> what did you I'm, I'm from Germany. We don't have to buy wine. Oh, okay. So yeah. We get it for free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what I bought from, from my first yeah. salary. I don't know. No, it's it's fair. Okay. It's but what do you uh, spend your money mostly on? Clothing? It, it's, I, mean, I mean, I'm German, so I'm pretty boring. So I save all the money. So I have family, I have kids. So it's better to save for yeah. the kids. And uh, they can waste the money then later. And then you like just they will, I guess. Yeah. Get a good German car. What do you drive? Do you drive a German car? For sure, Audi. I Audi. knew it. I knew so, it. So, but, but uh, it's 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 good to spend money on German cars because you can drive these cars for the next 10, 15 yeah. years. Yeah, then. so they so say. otherwise it's saving money and so. But yeah, I invest in real estate, so I don't know like okay. everyone yeah. else. So yeah, very cool. Very That's what the only thing you can do right now because of um, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it, it, you're a smart man. It's a smart decision. Not like a lot of the other DJs, I'm sure we see who, you know, Steve Aoki spends most his money on cake. <laughs> So I think you're doing quite well. Yeah. Um, I love chocolate. Oh, I okay. prefer chocolate instead of cakes. Yeah. So that's why I spend the money more on chocolate, I guess. Yeah. But you don't throw any chocolate at people. Um, <laughs> not yet. Not Maybe yet. Maybe to my kids, but uh, oh, not okay. on, on, on to fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I eat it. Yeah. yeah. So I prefer to, yeah. to keep it the chocolate <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Do you have any like uh, most memorable memory of any of your sets? Yeah. What I said, um, the touring with Jamio Kwai what was the worst. Um, moment for me was I think was one of the best shows I had and also one of the worst shows I had so mm -hmm. the best because to play in front of 15,000 people mm. um, they don't know me they don't know my sound they're just waiting for for um, Jamio Jimmy Kwai <laughs> but um, yeah it was, it was a chance for me to spread my music to a new um, fan base yeah, yeah and the a worst a moment was the same to play in front of 50,000 people <laughs> Just waiting for for <laughs> Jamie Okoye and then one hour. Come on, guy, hurry <laughs> yeah. up, man! It's it should but, be done. But now. it was a good stepping stone for you. Uh, definitely. Yeah. So it was just a just a big deal for me. And as I said, these guys are really nice, and it was so big experience for me to tour with these guys to see yeah. how it is to tour on mm. with the A League. Yeah. To see all the, all the backstage stuff, to yeah. meet the band, mm -hmm. and but it was a, a weird moment to stay in front of fifteen thousand people as a DJ, just play. <laughs> in, so yeah, yeah for, for the yeah. guys I just played two times in one hour the press and <laughs> play button or press the play button and yeah, did yeah. nothing all spots on me um, that was a pretty tough nah so. I'm sure you killed it uh, listen last question for you um, we are from Dubai dance from Dubai have you got any plans to come out to the UAE 
I played a lot in Dubai, so yeah. f- not in the last two years, but I remember really good gigs there. Mm-hmm. I, I love Dubai, ap- yeah. apart from the weather, so it's <laughs> too <laughs> anyway. dry, too hot. No, but your music is perfect for a nice beach set. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So I would love to come back oh, as we w- soon as possible. We would love to have you. You're more than welcome. I can't <laughs> wait. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. thank you so much Thanks for coming for in. Um, we've got a virtual reality game that we would like you to try if you're keen. You've got to try and beat Layback Luke, DJ Licious, Mambo Brothers, or Jonas Blue. Do you think you can do it? Uh, f- I'm pretty weak in playing games. <laughs> so I had a PlayStation for two weeks okay. and I never played. And then my wife sold them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I spent my first time. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, fair enough. All right, let's get it. All Give right, it a go. Let's get to it.